So you are going to get introduced about uh, acid-base reactions and acid-base reactions are called as neutralization reaction. More detailed description of acid-base reactions and neutralization reaction is given under the heading of acids bases in my website or you can uh, go to this link and learn about it. So in this video you are just getting an introduction to neutralization reaction only. Let's start with the definition of acids and bases and the first definition is Arrhenius definition. Arrhenius defines acids as acids are substances which lose hydrogen ions in solution. The equation HCl uh, giving you H positive and Cl minus defines HCl as an acid because HCl is giving you hydrogen ions in solution. Arrhenius defines bases as Bases are the one which loses hydroxide ions in solution. For example, the base sodium hydroxide, it uh, gives us hydroxide ions in solution. So, but the Arrhenius definition is not complete. We have one more definition of acids and bases because and um, that's the Bronson definition. The reason for it, this can apply to wider range of acids and bases. So, according to Bronson definition, he said, acids donate a proton so it is not just in solution if anything which donates a proton will be an acid for example here HCl is losing a proton that is donating a proton to H3O plus hence it is an acid and uh, what about a base he changed the definition of bases and he applied to compounds which doesn't have OH on it for example ammonia ions when I dissolve it in water it accepts a proton and forms NH4 plus. Hence, ammonia is a base. So, these two definitions, Arrhenius and Bramson, help us to define an acid and a base. We do have one more definition called as the Lewis definition, which will be introduced to you in a later chapter under acids and bases. If somebody is interested, can refer to the YouTube video, the link which is posted over there. Identify the Bronson acid and bases in the following. For your reference, uh, the definition is also given. Uh, acids donate a proton and bases accept a proton. So the first reaction is HBr reacting with uh, HBr is mixed with water to give you HCO plus and Br minus. So in this, if you look at it, HBr is becoming Br minus. That means it is losing a proton. Hence, it is an acid. And look at H2O. H2O is becoming H3O plus by accepting a proton. Hence, it is a base. So, applying the same concept to the second equation, HBr is an acid because it is becoming KBr by losing the proton. Of course, KOH is a base. But since they have asked you to identify the Bronsted acids and bases, I am not uh, uh, considering KOH here. The next one, ammonia and sulfuric acid. NH3 is become NH4. That means it's a base. It has accepted a proton. H2SO4 has lost its proton and has become sulfate. And hence it is an acid. And the last one, HF and water. HF, if you see, it has become F minus. Hence it is an acid. And water has become H3O plus. Hence it is a base. Now this last reaction if you see the arrow, it takes place in both the direction. So let's go to the other side and, and identify the acid and bases there. H3O plus has become H2O, hence it is an acid. And F minus has accepted a proton to become HF, hence it is a base. We have different kinds of acids depending on the number of hydrogens. We can call them as, if it has one hydrogen, I call it as monoprotic and they give one hydrogen ion in solution. For example, HCl gives you H positive and Cl minus, it's a monoprotic acid. And if an acid has two hydrogen, we call it diprotic and they give away two hydrogen ions in solution. An example is sulfuric acid, it gives you the first hydrogen and forms HSO4 minus. Then the second one ionizes to give you H positive 1, SO4 2 minus. If an acid has 3 hydrogen, we call it triprotic 
and they give away three hydrogen ions in solution. For example, phosphoric acid can ionize one by one all its hydrogen and can form H2PO4 minus, HPO4 2 minus and PO4 3 minus ions. So similar to acids, we have uh, bases with different number of hydroxides also. A bases with one hydroxide, we call it as monohydroxy, and they give away one hydroxide ion in solution. Example is sodium hydroxide, and it gives you one OH minus. But there is a base with two hydroxides, we call it dihydroxy, and they give away two hydroxide ions in solution. An example is barium hydroxide giving barium ions and two hydroxide ions in solution. We do have uh, bases which gives away two hydroxides and one example is aluminum hydroxide. Aluminum hydroxide gives away three hydroxides in solution. So let's look at now strong acids and strong uh, bases. Strong acids and bases they dissociate completely and are strong electrolytes. For example, HCl gives all its hydrogen ions in chloride ion and sodium hydroxide as strong base will also give all its sodium and hydroxide ion. In general, we have 7 strong acids and 8 strong bases. The 7 strong acids are HCl, HPr and all the acids which are given over there. And then the 8 strong bases, it starts with the lithium hydroxide and all the group 1 uh, metal hydroxides along with calcium, strontium and barium are strong bases. At this moment you need not memorize them, the 7 strong acids and the 8 strong bases, but later in the course it will be necessary that you learn the 7 strong acids and 8 strong bases. Neutralization reaction. When an acid reacts with a base, it forms salt and water and this reaction is called as a neutralization reaction. Consider the reaction of a strong acid and a strong base and the compound form NaCl is the salt and if you look at it, the Na part, the cation, comes from the base and the Cl part, the anion, comes from the acid and um, this equation, if I, since both are strong, I write as the ionic equation and you realize that the hydrogen ions uh, and the OH ions are the only one which remains and all the others get cancelled. So and that's the net ionic equation is basically hydrogen plus hydroxide giving you water. And if you need, we have more information on salt, a detailed descriptions and various other factors refer to the other video water thing which comes in the later part of your course. Identify the salt form for the following reactions of acids and bases. HPR and CaOH twice. You have to just combine the cation of the base and the anion of the acid and the salt is CaBr2. The second one is aluminum nitrate. And the third one is the reaction between sulfuric acid and barium hydroxide and the salt form will be BaSO4. And uh, the fourth one, the reaction between H3PO4 and KOH, combine the K and the phosphate and the salt form will be K3PO4. And when H2SO3 reacts with magnesium hydroxide, I will get magnesium sulfite NgSO3. And uh, H3PO3 phosphorus acid and uh, PBOH twice gives me lead phosphate. phosphite. Then carbonic acid and iron hydroxide gives me iron carbonate. And you should notice that some of the salts are aqueous, some of the salts are solid. So this is written based on the solubility rule. For example, potassium salt, potassium phosphate, all salts of potassium is soluble, hence it is aqueous. And uh, lead salts are all uh, insoluble except the nitrates, acetates and the chlorate, hence it is a solid. Similarly for barium sulphate and magnesium sulphite and iron carbonate, they are all solid salt and the rest are aqueous.